Michelle Ree is the seventh superintendent of the DC schools in just 10 years. Each of her predecessors promised radical change and that this time they could turn their schools around. Lieutenant General Julius Becton, who was awarded two Purple Hearts and a Silver Star for heroic acts in battle, said he never faced a more difficult task than reforming the schools of Washington. Remember, children first. Failure is not an option. It should be simple. A teacher in a schoolhouse, filling her students with knowledge and sending them on their way. But we've made it complicated. Why is it that the same student who fails a proficiency test in Longmeadow, Massachusetts, can drive a mile south and pass a similar test in Enfield, Connecticut? Here's why. The federal government passes laws and sends money to the states, but the states fund schools too and set their own often conflicting standards. And there are more than 14,000 autonomous school boards making school governance a tangled mess of conflicting regulations and mixed agendas. You've got local school boards, people from the state departments of education, federal department of education, district superintendents and their huge staffs. The things we've done to help our schools work better have become the things that prevent them from working. This whole collection of people, which is sometimes called the blob, like out of some horror movie, has been an impediment to reform. No individual is necessarily to blame, but collectively, they are the Goliath of the system. 